Good afternoon and welcome. I am Michael Francis, Principal of Success Academy High School of the Liberal Arts, and I want to thank you for joining us to celebrate commencement of our class of 2024. This was not our original plan for graduation, but scholars, whether we are virtual or in person, we are so very proud of you. The great thing about e-graduation is that seating is unlimited, so we're a very big group today. With your teachers and advisors and faculty from across our 45 schools, rising juniors and seniors, our boards and the many friends of success, and as many parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles as cyberspace can hold. I want to welcome you all and remind you that when these scholars started at our first Harlem schools as five and six year olds, the class of 2024 was named for the year they would graduate from college. Today, they will become our graduating class of 2020, and every one of them is headed off to a great college to finish that journey. This accomplishment is the result of years of hard work and dedication and many firsts for 2024. You tackled more AP classes, calculus, biology, literature, microeconomics, physics, art history, and traveled to Columbia University for even more advanced courses. You crafted solutions to the effect of runoff on water quality and environmental engineering, exhibited collegiate thinking through the Harvard Poetry Program, learned the basics of machine learning and data science. You set a new SAT benchmark with an average of 1268. Your class is the first with multiple Posse Leadership Scholars and with multiple admissions to Tufts, Penn, and many other exciting universities. And you excelled in other ways. You gave us the luminous and entirely student-run production of In the Heights, filled our hallways with powerful works of art, and you have been exhibited at MoMA and the Met. You gave us our first NCAA recruited athlete, won the all-girls chess nationals, traveled to Chatsworth to meet with the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire, and perform with Common. I could go on, class of 2024, but they gave me a time limit. Scholars, we have learned a lot about your character over these past 13 years. You've shown each other remarkable support and kindness, which speaks to the moral compass that guides you and the determination that drives you. And we know that you are going to be of service and lead on campus and in your communities. So it is most appropriate, and we are deeply honored, that today's keynote speaker is Lieutenant General Darrell Williams, who commands the United States Military Academy at West Point. One of the nation's preeminent military leaders, Lieutenant General Williams, is responsible for educating and training leaders of highest character to promote and protect our national security, and in his own life has broken many barriers. He is the 60th superintendent of West Point in our nation's history and the first African-American to lead that great institution. It is my privilege to present Lieutenant General Williams. Success Academy Class of 2024, greetings and congratulations. I'm Lieutenant General Darrell Williams, 60th superintendent of the United States Military Academy, just about 50 miles north of you. I'm honored for the opportunity to share a few words with you on this special day as you celebrate this milestone. And while we're not together in person, this is still a time of celebration. And you all should be very proud of all you have accomplished. But while we're celebrating your accomplishments, remember that you had help and support along the way from your parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, friends, and especially your teachers and mentors all of them committed to helping you succeed. So take a moment to say thank you and to tell them how much you appreciate them. Tony Stark from the Marvel Universe once said that part of the journey is the end. And though you've come to the end of your journey at Success Academy, the bigger journey is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. As all of you head off to college and then to wherever life's journey takes you, as you begin this next chapter, you do so at a very challenging time in our history, one that has tested our resolve, our resiliency, and our grit as a nation and a people. 
And just as much as anything you learn in a classroom or a laboratory, it is those qualities that will help you navigate the journey ahead. Your resolve, resiliency, grit, and your ability to overcome adversity. How hard you can take a hit, but keep moving forward. It is those qualities, among others, that help define your character. And while education and learning are important to help you unlock our opportunities in life and prepare you for the road ahead, your character is much more important. Character is how you treat other people. It's courage and humility. It's always doing the right thing, or as we say at West Point, choosing the harder right over the easier wrong. It's not the skills and experience you'll put on a job resume someday, but the qualities people will remember you for, the qualities that define you as a person. Someone who has inspired me throughout my career is retired General Colin Powell, the nation's former top military officer and secretary of state, who grew up in Harlem and the South Bronx. Throughout his decades of public service, he shared countless words of wisdom about how to be a successful leader and how to simply be successful in life. I'd like to share just three of those thoughts with you. First, if you're going to achieve excellence in the big things, you develop the habit in the little things. Excellence is a prevailing attitude and a habit, and it starts with the small stuff, the basics, making your bed, saying please and thank you. It all matters. Second, treat people kindly. Show that people are worthy and that you respect them and you are glad they're with you. Don't just achieve excellence, but be excellent to each other. Treat everyone with dignity and respect. And lastly, it's not where you start in life, it's where you end up and what you did along the way. Every one of you has the power to affect great change and make a difference in the world. So make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Carpe diem, seize the day, make it matter. Be focused and driven, but take some time to look around and enjoy the scenery too. Class of 2024, you're gonna do great things, I have no doubt. Congratulations to all of you, and I wish you all success and good fortune as you continue your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant General Williams, for honoring us with your presence and inspiring us with your words. Good afternoon. My name is Amanda Levy. I am a history teacher at HSLA, and I am one of the class of 2024's biggest fans. You see, when I started as a founding middle school teacher at SA Harlem Central, I quickly learned this was a unique group of students, a class made up of pioneers from the original SA Harlem campuses and clearly future leaders of America. Who wouldn't want to teach them? Class of 2024, the stories that your former teachers and leaders tell about you are all true. Your scholastic and interpersonal energy are irresistible. To get to your graduation today, you never stopped working hard. You outworked your friends from other schools and from schools across the country and the world who will soon be your new classmates. You are all ready for a competitive collegiate experience. Today, you are leaving Success Academy, but your legacy will live on. In the classrooms, on the theater and dance stage, on the track, and in every scholar who already looks up to you, and in me. Because eight years ago, I came to Success Academy to teach in New York City, and I stayed because of each of you. Within the class of 2024, certain individuals have set the bar extremely high for future Success Academy seniors. It is my honor to award six of these exceptional scholars today. So, without further ado, the winner of the first award was nominated by the Talent Department in recognition of outstanding achievement and leadership contributions to their community. This double threat student has always excelled in academics and athletics. She is the first ever NCAA recruited athlete from Success Academy. 
she is going to take home many gold medals in the 200 meter race running for the University of Pennsylvania. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Award for Excellence in Scholar Talent, Ronnie Bailey. Our next award is given in recognition of outstanding work across the humanities disciplines. As a sophomore, they set a record as the youngest scholar ever to score a five on the AP literature exam. After years of impressing faculty and peers with their command of the written word, they were invited to enroll in classes at Columbia University during their senior year. And I have no doubt their personal story will continue to be written and celebrated at the University of Chicago, where they will be pursuing a humanities major. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Award for Excellence in Humanities, Nashate Crawford. Our third award is given in recognition of exemplary achievement across the STEM disciplines. This remarkable scholar has had consistently outstanding academics, including the highest grade in AP Calculus in her honors engineering elective. Her commitment to meaningful work did not waver amidst remote learning, and her final paper on the future of brain-controlled prosthetics highlighted her ability to be a strong, coherent, scientific writer. She is going to solve a lot of problems, and not just in math, at Yale University, where she will be pursuing STEM. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Award for Excellence in Sciences, Technology, and Mathematics, Khadija Silla. The winner of this next award was chosen by both the faculty and the senior class for demonstrating outstanding leadership in our community throughout his time at Success Academy. He is deeply invested in education, loves learning for the sake of learning, enthusiastically models curiosity, and joyfully contributes to intellectual discussion. He will continue to lead by example next year as a Posse Scholar at Middlebury College. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Leadership Award, Lamine Cisse. The winner of this next very special award was chosen by both the faculty and the senior class for exemplifying Success Academy values, purpose and integrity through her work habits, professionalism, maturity, and an unyielding moral compass. She balanced both great academics and outstanding extracurricular achievements all throughout high school. Captain of the dance team, invaluable talent on the stage, biology TA extraordinaire, and a year-round learner who took on studies at Wash U and Stanford in the summer. Good luck to anyone trying to keep up with this scholar when she enters the lecture halls of Duke University. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Values Award, Stacey Grimes. And finally, our Founders Award is given in recognition of outstanding academic achievement and community leadership. It is chosen by GPA, the rigor of one's course load, and demonstrated work habits. This scholar has the first recorded 4.0 in HSLA history even while taking the most challenging courses, including calculus and numerous APs, co-founding the investment club, winning a Yale investment pitch as a freshman, and captaining the girls varsity basketball team. Needless to say, she had immense faculty support for her nomination. I have no doubt that she will continue to push herself just as hard from the moment she steps foot onto the campus of the University of Pennsylvania. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of the 2020 Founders Award, Kayla Douglas. Congratulations to the entire HSLA Class of 2020, College Class of 2024. Thank you for the lifelong teaching memories and good luck to each of you. Despite these uncertain and painful times, I know you are gonna change the world. Thank you, Ms. Levy, and congratulations again to all of our outstanding award winners. I am so proud of you. I am Dan Rojas, Principal of Success Academy High School of the Liberal Arts. Our next speaker has been recognized for his ability to motivate his classmates and set an example of determination. 
He was captain of our basketball team, a leader on student council, a member of our STEM Honors Academy, and a mentor to younger students. Whether pushing his team to train even harder on the court or working to build culture and connections, he has found so many ways to leave his mark on our community. We all know his warmth and charisma enter the room five seconds before he does, even on blue jeans, and you just can't help but admire his optimistic approach to life. It is my pleasure to introduce Lamine Cisse, winner, as you just heard, of this year's Leadership Award, Posse Scholar recipient at the prestigious Middlebury College, and our Class of 2024 Scholar Speaker. Please join me in welcoming Lamine. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to celebrate. I am Lamine Cisse, Class of 2024, and I'm very excited to be speaking to you today at our graduation. We're not together in person today, but this class has always been there for each other, no matter the circumstances. There are so many reasons that I could give why I'm proud to belong to this group of seniors. As a class, we've left our stamp on the school. We helped create the environment that we wanted for every SA student. Seniors took on the responsibility of bringing everyone together to celebrate our heritage, our differences, producing Root Awakening, a completely student-led and, in my opinion, legendary multicultural performance. We've never limited ourselves to just sticking to what we know or doing what we were good at. Our legacy is that we raise the bar. We push one another to reach higher and higher, finding our way through ever more AP courses, perfecting personal narratives, training harder, running faster, raising our voices when we needed to be heard, and helping those following in our footsteps to figure out this crazy thing called high school. I've learned that it's important to recognize when people make a difference in your life, and it's equally important to thank them. Of course, I have to start with family. To my parents, I see now how much you worked for me. Thank you. To my grandfathers, who I've never actually met, but whose stories and legacy shape the values of my family. Thank you. Our families have gotten us to this day. They've been there for all these years. But now isn't the time for them to let up. We need you. Please stay active in our lives. Then there are the teachers who shaped us. We learned real life lessons in school because they made us feel included and respected. Our teachers, advisors, counselors, and principals have shown us that there's nothing wrong with failure. We have to fall before we can rise. Sometimes those who we love the most were the most strict. They showed us that there's a time and place for everything, to laugh and have fun, but ultimately to be focused so we can achieve what we want. Thank you, Coach Ricky Rivers and Coach Merrill Davis. Both have told me that basketball can change your life, but they also showed me that being intelligent isn't something you need to hide. Thank you also to Mr. Babu Tunde, who was a teacher who could always be your friend when you needed one. I don't think I am alone in feeling thankful for the faculty at HSLA, both past and present. I know that the lessons I've learned will help me succeed at Middlebury College next year, where I plan to pursue a career fighting the world's injustices, and I can't wait to get started. Finally, Ms. Moskowitz, thank you for never giving up on our futures and for fighting for the idea that every kid deserves a chance to go to college. In fact, every one of us is college bound. We now face the great unknown. It would be really scary except for the fact that we're all excited to take a step into the real world. And I know now that our friendships and support for one another will always be solid. High school was our chance to discover ourselves, but these next four years will be our chance to become who we really want to be. Class of 2024, remember to always be willing to listen and to learn. Remember where you came from and what you've accomplished. And remember that no matter what, we are the class of 2024 and we have each other. Remember, stay sanctioned. Thank you. Thank you, Lamine, and good afternoon. I am Eva Moskowitz, the founder and CEO of Success Academies. It, in some ways, seems a little challenging or awkward to celebrate at this exact moment. We're in the middle of a pandemic, 16,000 New Yorkers 
have died. 100,000 Americans have perished, mostly in communities of color. George Floyd last week was murdered. Decades and decades of racial injustices have plagued this country. And yet we must celebrate because our graduates are part of the solution. I was very moved this weekend by an op-ed in the LA Times by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who said, quote, racism in America is like dust in the air. It seems invisible, even if you're choking on it, until you let the sun in, then you see it everywhere. Our students, our graduates are about letting the sun in. They will shine the light proactively and deliberately. Indeed, this is the very mission of Success Academy, to foster equity and social justice, not just for a day, but for 365 days a year, every hour of every day. Our schools are about building a better future. So today is really important and it is a moment to celebrate, especially now. We must acknowledge the accomplishments of our graduates and the village it took to get here. And we must imagine the glory of a better tomorrow. So we are going to celebrate. I wanna start by thanking Lieutenant General Williams for his service to our country and to putting into words exactly what we aspire for our scholars. Today, 99 terrific kids are headed to college and the opportunities that a great education provides. But we have 600 high schoolers in our audience today ready to follow the class of 2024. We have 13,000 children in elementary school and 4,000 middle schoolers coming shortly thereafter. This is the moment we dreamed of, prayed for, worked for, and often had to fight for over the past 15 years. Congratulations, Principal LaFrancis and Principal Rojas and our trailblazing high school educators and staff who let nothing, including a pandemic, stop them from reaching this milestone. I wanna thank all of our faculty across K to eight, all of our leaders whose determination and spirit turned remote learning into real learning, keeping 18,000 children across nearly 50 schools clearly on their own path to graduation. I wanna thank friends and board members and supporters whose wonderful guidance, financial support, and belief in our kids have made today possible. Last but not least, in fact, most important, our families. Parents, grandparents, guardians, you have let us love and nurture your children together with you. Now, class of 2024. Sorry, I'm a bit emotional. You are not graduating into a world that anyone imagined for you or would wish for you. But boy, is the world fortunate to have you. When you came to Harlem 1234 as kindergartners and first graders, you were inquisitive, exuberant, and incredibly funny. You were still all those things, and we treasure you for them. But now, you are rigorous thinkers and problem solvers. You know how to analyze and question to support your ideas with data and facts. You know how to listen and hear other voices. Today, it is so important to be able to hear other voices, divergent opinions. 
When you were small, we used to tell you to try and try, and now you strive for excellence, setting ambitious goals, knowing you will not achieve them out of the gate, but over time and with hard work, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. We are enormously proud of what you've accomplished academically, listening to the awards and all the courses you have taken. But it is even more important who you have become as people, doing what is right even when no one is watching. Leading and inspiring and building connections, those are the most important in life. You will grow immeasurably, over the next four years, and you will give so much back. Clarity, honesty, kindness, imagination, tenacity, integrity, strength, and above all, leadership. You have already overcome so much in and out of school. Not everyone thought you could do it, but your success family of parents, teachers, leaders, friends, and supporters have never wavered in their faith in you, and we never will. Scholars, I want you to remember how immensely proud we are of you. We have prepared you well, but you will be tested and challenged in the years to come. Life will throw you curveballs, but I want you to use well and wisely this education you have been afforded. I want you to be the change makers that we need and know that we are here to help and guide you always. And scholars, we have a surprise for you. Last year, we were honored by a wonderful visit to Success Academy from Andaba Mandela. Yep, you heard me, Mandela. Nelson Mandela's grandson, who carries forward his grandfather's torch and legacy, and he sent you a commencement greeting. Hi, my name is Ndav Mandela, the grandson of the great Nelson Mandela. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me say a huge congratulations on your graduation. You are now adults, and it's time for you to take a big step into the world. Yes, the world right now is not looking like a place that anybody wants to be in. The world has shown us that the leaders of today do not have the answers. The system has shown all the ugly cracks we now have the opportunity as young people to shape the future. You, every single one of you who have graduated today, you have worked hard, well done, you have accomplished something. And guess what? You have now the opportunity to shape the way the world should be going forward. So be bold, be strong, be brave, be courageous, and make sure you always stand up in the face of injustice together we can overcome. Now go out there, dream big, and make sure that you have a step-by-step -step plan and how you're gonna make your dreams a reality and make this world a better place. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Ms. Moskowitz, and thank you, Mr. Mandela. I am Barbara Gao Shapiro, Associate Director of College Access and Persistence at Success Academy. Class of 2024, your graduation from Success Academy is a special moment that we as a community have dreamed of for years. And this past week, your commencement somehow became even more meaningful as a beacon of joy in such deeply troubling times. I challenge all those of us cheering you on today to act on Mr. Mandela's words and to be better allies in the fight against racism. Better today than we were yesterday and better tomorrow than we were today. Our celebration today recognizes the hard work and perseverance of our outstanding class of 2024, our largest ever class of graduates, all headed to amazing colleges and universities across the country. The work ethic, our seniors honed at HSLA will make them that much more prepared to persist in college. This Herculean accomplishment was not achieved by our seniors alone, but with the tireless support of college counselors, educators, 
peers, and most of all, family members. Thank you again, families, for partnering with us through the extraordinary demands of high school and the college application process. Class of 2024, as your name is read, you will receive your diploma digitally, which means you are officially an alumnus of Success Academy. We can't wait to hear all about your experiences in college when you come back to visit us. If you haven't already, we hope you formally sign up to join the Alumni Association. Now, seniors, parents, and friends, get your phones out and ready to record. On behalf of our entire Success Academy community, faculty, staff, school leaders, and supporters, I am honored to present the diplomas to our Success Academy graduates, class of 2024. Joshua Abbey, Jr. Grace Angela Lua Adelani. Kate Aguayo. Charlene Aka. Elise Dorothy Alexander. Courtney Allen. Joyelle N. Arnell. Chelsea Alejandra Abar. El Haji Ba. Mamadou Ba. Ronnie Marie Bailey. Abraham Bakayoko. Debelle Barry. Brandon Bautista. Makai Bennett. Janine Brooks. Jordan Alexander Burt. Jalen Carthens. Bintu Nefertari Sise. Lamine Sise. Maddie Sise. Bria Armani Kulabali. Nashate Crawford. Madeline Stephanie Cruz. Mohamed Daho. Beverly D. Donkwa. Lala Diallo. Muhammad Jope. Magella Francisca Dominguez. Kayla Monet Douglas. Malik Khalifa Dumbia. Syra Desiree Egborge. Naomi E. Ear. Michaela Fleming. Janai Tenille Floyd. Kiara Gadsden. Mecca Amari Garcia. Golden Dior Garns. Stacy Mary Grimes. Janae Harris. Tiana Harris. Cheyenne T. Hill. Madison Hodges. Ashley Iggy. Tyler James. Jaden Jenkins. Tahira Amira Neja Jessa. Imani Johnson. Sharon Lavelle Jones. Tyrell Joseph. Usman Kebe. 
Janiah Kilgore. Tyra King. Darianos Kinney. Savion Ledna. Mariah Lowe Barian. Ciara Antoinette McFadden. Jada McRuder. Mia McNair. Alexis McPherson. Matthews McConan. Filippos McConan. Valencia Mota. Mohamed Ende. Catherine Norales. Anthony Perez. Kenefer Peterson. Brianna K. Pizarro. Heaven Elise Rawlings. Jasper J. Richards. Tajay Robinson. Leilani Robles. Matthew Rodriguez. Jade Ross. Jaden Ross. Jaisha A. Royal Smith. Aliun Sain. Bala Sanogo. Mariama Sar. Kiana T. Saunders. Fatumata Sissoko. Malik King Sissoko. Dorian Soler. Elena Soler. Isi Normayo Solomon. Asada Somerville. Kelly Angelina Soriano. Autumn Swepson. Khadija Silla. Leonora Octavia Tapper. Robert B. Tidwell. Genabu Torre. Loretta T. Tweeter. Jake Vasquez. Jada Monet Wade. Bryce Walker. John Eric Waller II. Nigel Isaiah Webb. Mecca Williams. Congratulations, class of 2024. Thank you, Barbara, and congratulations to all of our scholars. At Success Academy, we believe that no graduation is complete unless tassels have been turned and hats been tossed. Scholars, we have asked all of you to wear your caps and gowns at home, so please stand and face your families who have done so much and are so proud of you. Families, this is the moment we imagined so many years ago. Get set and don't forget to post these great pictures to hashtag SA class of 2024. Cameras ready? Okay, here we go. Scholars, it gives me the greatest pleasure to ask you to move your tassels from right to left. Toss your hats as members of the Success Academy High School of Liberal Arts 
graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can hear cheering all over New York City. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you all for joining us.